Hey, and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to set up our project. I've created a folder called Mern underscore auth and drag that into VS Code. So once you've done that, let's open up a terminal and create our React app. I will call it client. So while that is running, I will open up another terminal and create a folder called server, CD into that folder, and then npm init it. Next, I want to add all the necessary packages. The first one is Express. This will help us spin up a web server. The next one is Nomon. This helps us to listen to the changes without restarting our server. The next one is Concurrently. This helps us spin up our client, the front end, and our server at the same time with one command. The next one is Mongoose. This helps us to connect to our database. And the last one is .env. This helps us protect our private keys. I will press enter and let that run. I will go back to my first terminal. So it looks like the React app is done. I will CD into the folder, the client folder, and then run yarn start to double check um, the React app. All right, so it looks like everything is right. I will go back to my VS code and then uh, press control C to stop the front end. Go back to my second terminal double check on my packages looks like that is done also so the next thing i want to do is create a file called server.js within my server folder i will close the terminal now and then navigate to the file i just created the server.js next i want to require it in all my packages the first one is mongoose then express I also want to say app is equal to express. The last package is .env. The way I like to structure things begins with my database, followed by middlewares, and then my routes. Give that a quick save. So before we go any further, I want to create a new file and call it .env. This is the file where we store all of our secret keys. And the first key we want to store is our Mongo database connection string. I have mine right here. I paste it in and give that a quick save. Close the file and then open up package.json. The first thing I want to do is replace index.js with server.js. Next, I want to remove the test script and write our own script to start our server. So I will say server and then use Nomon to watch our server. I also want to ignore our client folder and then click save. So I will close this file. Now I want to return to this file and spin up our server. The first thing I want to do is define a port and set that equal to 8000. Next, I want to say app.listen, pass in the port, and a callback function once the server is up. And I simply just want to console log out and say server is active. Give that a quick save and open up a terminal and make sure you are CD into the server folder. Now we're going to run our script that we wrote a minute ago. So I will say yarn server and press enter if you see server is active in the console that means um, everything we set up is correct and the server is currently active now i want to press ctrl c to stop the server and close my terminal the next thing i want to do is work on our database connection so we will use mongoose and then connect the first thing we have to pass in is our connection string, which we define it in the .env file. So the way we access it is by saying process.env and the name of the key. Mine was mongo underscore URL. Next, we will define some default option in order for our application to work. So the first one is use create index. I will set that to true. Next is find and modify. I will set that to false. 
Next was uh, use URL parser. I will set that to true. And the last one is unified topology. I will set that to true. After this, there is a callback function. Inside there is an error parameters that we can use. And if there's an error, I just want to show the error. If there's not, I simply want to console log out and say database connected. Give that a quick save. Open up my terminal and run the same command. Now you can see our server is active and our database is connected. Now I want to close the server one more time. Control C. And copy these line of codes into my clipboard. Command X. Find my uh, callback function and paste the code here and click save. So the reason I want to do this is because I actually don't want my server to be active unless it is first connected to the database. All right, so open up my terminal again and run the same command. And it should be working like it first did. But this time the database is connected first, then our server is active. So the way it is currently set up, in order for us to uh, spin up our server, we will have to CD into our server folder and then run this command yarn server for the server to spin up. And if we want to spin up our front end, we will have to CD into our client folder and then running yarn start for the front end to spin up. So personally, I don't want to do that. And that is where concurrently will come in. So the first thing I want to do is go back to my um, second terminal and press control C to stop the server. Close my terminal and open up my package.json. We're going to write two more script. The first one will be for our client. So I will say client. This script is to run our front end. So I will say npm run start. And the prefix will be inside our client folder. All right, the next command, you can name it whatever, but I will name it dev. And this is the script that will combine the first script, server, and the second script, client, together using concurrently. So I will say concurrently, backslash, quote, npm run server, backslash, quote, another backslash, quote, npm run client, backslash quote click save open up a terminal and make sure you are inside the server folder now run the uh, dev command so now both our front end and server is running at the same time this is our front end and if i go back to vs code if you scroll down a little bit we can see that our database is connected and our server is active. So this complete our setup and in our next lesson, we will start building out our front end. All right, see you then.